Okay, so in south of Baghdad, Iraq, an Iraqi man is sentenced to two years in prison for insulting the prophet. An Iraqi man has been centered to, sentenced to two years in prison for alleged blasphemous comments against the Prophet Muhammad on Facebook. After an investigation, he confessed he owned the Facebook page and that all the comments were issued by him as an atheist. The Supreme Court claimed that the man had, quote, harmed the feelings of millions of Muslims in the East and West, end quote, through his alleged defamatory comments, adding that he was sentenced as per Article 372 of Iraqi Pen Penalty Code, which has been in place since 1969. Um... Is it is it weird that I'm happy about the fact that he only got two years in prison for insulting Prophet Muhammad? Because if he was in Iran, he would get a death sentence, maybe, or in Saudi Arabia. Like, wh what did he say about Prophet Muhammad? Um, I wasn't able to figure that out because I don't read Arabic, but um. He just something um, they kept on talking about like vulgar words and um, defamation. Wait, um, what did it say? This um, is progress. The reporter, the reporter for the media center of the Supreme Judicial Council added that the court found that his act that by his action, this offended the position of the prophet and his house. So hmm. it's not I don't know exactly how, clear I, what it was specifically was said. Okay, I, so it's hard for me to judge how, if this is progress or not, because if he, he came out and directly just outright insulted the prophet and he just got two years in prison, that is, if you compare that to Iran, what, Iran or, you know, that's a pretty progressive, <laughs> I mean, that's sad to say, you know, that this is good, because you got somebody just got two years from prison for just stating their opinion, which is fucked up. But relative to some neighboring countries, this is a very light sentence, right? Which is saying, I mean, I'm not happy that he's getting two years in prison, but I'm happy that he's not being sentenced to death. Does that make sense? And totally. Oh, Facebook, yeah, I mean, there you go. Um. Yeah, the clause of the penalty code stipulates that whoever publicly insults a symbol or person who is revered, glorified, or respected by a sect should be sentenced to up to three years or fined. Oh, that's the Iraqi law? Mm hmm So if somebody insults the devil, and there's, we could argue in Iraq that devil worshippers are offended, would they arrest that guy? No. These I mean, the... that's the thing. So someone, what's her name? Belkis Wile, I don't know how to say that, um, who is a senior Iraq researcher at the Human Rights Watch, said, quote, this case is emblematic of the fact that for years, authorities have used vaguely worded laws with provisions, most of which are from the penal code on incitement and defamation that allow prosecutors to bring criminal charges for opinions they object to. Wow. So yeah, you're right. It is very purposefully vague but they use it when it suits them. Hmm. So, Susanna, you're getting pixely, probably because you're not wearing hijab and... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... yeah, Armin, Armin uh, oh. Mike on the Facebook live chat is simping for you now. Oh, really? I like people simping <laughs> for me. Great, great. Encu I encourage that. Keep doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan... Bring uh, it on. Facebook Alan on Facebook comment section was saying, I don't know Iraqi law, but did he get a chance to face his accuser? Was Prophet Muhammad there with his complaint? <laughs> That's good. I like the comment. Uh, Sean is saying, yeah, actually, that's very interesting because it technically shouldn't be under criminal law. It should be under civil law. If you insult the prophet, because you didn't do anything against the state, you did something against another person. So you should not be able to do anything unless the pro you know the real prophet Muhammad shows up and files a case against you. And even in that case, yeah, why is it that for most people, if you do for civil law, if you make take an action against somebody, you don't get prison sentence, you get sued. But Prophet Muhammad apparently. If you think he's real, 
Yeah, so this is nonsense. Oh, but if he's dead and you're insulting him and they will be criminal, does that mean that I can't insult other dead people? Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting too much from religious reasoning, quote-unquote reasoning. Anyways, uh, Philip uh, is saying, what did the Prophet Muhammad say at the trial? Oh, another similar comment. Surely he needed to be there to register the complaint. Being offended on behalf of someone else doesn't make sense. This case should have been thrown out. I mean, you could also argue that most people wouldn't, most people wouldn't even uh, uh, um, complain if somebody offended them. They wouldn't sue you for being offended. Like, oh my God, this guy says mean things. Imagine if we did that, right? Imagine if anybody else were like, people were mean to me online and I'm going to take them to court because of that. We all be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Okay. Like, and people do try to do that. <laughs> The, uh, well, yeah, but most Muslims would recognize that as weak and pathetic. Most Muslims would recognize that as weak and pathetic. If you're like, oh, my God, you're so offended, you're going to sue somebody for mean comments online. Um, but apparently they see less in their own prophet. You know, give, you know they, they think their prophet is so sensitive, weak and pathetic. And what they argue is like, listen, because we're not we're not a we're not as important and as holy as the prophet um insulting us is not that big of a crime but the prophet is so great he's so pure he's so awesome that even the slightest offense against him is like the biggest crime in the world but if you take that reasoning then you're saying that the less a person is the more we could commit like the more abusive we could be to them and the more um harmful we could be to them because it's like not a big deal right so like if somebody like oh this look this person has contributed nothing to society so just go like i i punch him in the face your honor but that shouldn't be that big of a crime because look at him he's nobody <laughs> so like is that the anyways um all right, so let's see news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 